welcome back to the milk carton series i'm your host stephanie if you are new and as always thank you guys for tuning in now if you are new and want to join my family you can always hit that subscribe button so you can see more from me and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll always know when i upload because y'all know youtube's algorithm is a little weird sometimes so help your girl out a little bit so guys welcome back today i have another missing person case video and this one like all the others is truly sad because one i never heard of this case two never heard of this case and three it has been almost 11 years since the disappearance of ariana davis now ariana davis is a 21 year old at the time of her disappearance when she went missing on april 30th of 2010. She went missing in the Henrico, Virginia area where she lived with her parents and that was the last time anyone has ever seen Ariana. Now, when I was reading her story, I just got this sense of like her of her spirit. She was described as such a responsible young lady, hardworking. She was actually about to finish up massage therapy at Forest College and she was about to graduate within six weeks from the time of her disappearance. So that was truly sad to hear that, you know, such a bright future and out of nowhere, Ariana disappears. Now on that day, Ariana was stated that she went to a local convenience store by the by the name of J Express Mart. And she went to this convenience store around 1.15 to 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And she always would go to this convenience store. It was about three blocks from her home. And Ariana did not drive. So she would always catch the bus or walk if, if it allowed. And she knew the local convenience store people and they knew who she was. Now, the woman did state that Ariana did not look like to be in any distress. She looked like her normal self and she got her items and left. Now, there has been also stated that on her way from leaving the convenience store that Ariana was seen with a man. And this is a man she potentially knew. They don't really specify if they dated, but she did know this individual and they were seen together on that day. Now, this man which is crazy, He was. he's also been incarcerated for stabbing another woman, but there has not been any information to lock him in with the disappearance of Ariana. Now, Ariana is still missing and there has not been any sightings of her. And that was honestly the last time anyone has ever seen her. And it's been over 11 years and there has not been any new information regarding her disappearance. And her family deserves to know what has happened to her on that day? You know, it's just pretty strange that she goes and walks this normal routine and then out of nowhere, Ariana is nowhere to be found. And, you know, it's sad, but this is this is truly how some people are. They prey on the weak. They prey on those who have a normal routine or whatever the case is. You know, people are weird out here. It has been stated that if Ariana would go away or not return home, she would definitely tell her parents where she was going. She had a really great relationship with them and she would communicate if she was not going to return home or if she was gonna be leaving or going away. And this was very strange of her not. Ariana is listed at five feet, five inches, weighing around 200 pounds. And it is said that her hair is black to dark brown and she would have it at shoulder length. And also on the day of her disappearance, she had up cut up blue jeans with a pink shirt and multicolored flip flops. And her hair was pulled back in like a pink and white scarf wrapped around, you know, like the edges or whatever. And a lot of people would call her Peaches or go by her middle name of Yvonne. Ariana is still missing and has been missing since April 30th of 2010, and she has not been seen since. Any information is truly appreciated on the disappearance of Ariana, and like any other video, all information will be linked down below so you guys can go check it out in case you may have seen her or know any information. That's today's episode, guys. I'm sending her family love and light, praying that they do get some information, although it has been 11 years, and you know, I'm big on one one video can change the game for it all. So I'm sending her family some love and light. And as always, guys, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.